When you're typing in VS Code, it's going to constantly be popping up with little dialogues with information about the code you're typing and suggestions for auto-completion. Typically, these pop-ups are helpful as you're writing code, but if you're, say, teaching or presenting, they can be a little distracting, so I'm going to show you how to turn them off. First, I'm going to open up my settings config file. I'll get there by going to View, Command Palette, search for Settings, and choose Open User Settings JSON. For the settings I want to add here, I'm going to go over to the notes that accompany this video and grab this config block at the top. So I'm just going to copy this, bring that into my settings, and save my changes. Now with these settings, I'm configuring two things. The first is my editor quick suggestions. There are three options for this, and I'm turning them all to false. That's going to turn off all of those little pop-ups that appear as I'm typing code. I'm also changing a setting called Editor Hover Enabled. This will make pop-ups appear when you're hovering over text with your mouse, which also can be distracting when you're presenting. With those settings in place, let's test it out. Coming back to my code file, I'm going to start typing some code. And you can see no pop-ups are appearing. Similarly, if I move my mouse around over my code, I'm not seeing any pop-ups. And again, that's coming from this Hover Enable setting. And just to contrast that, let's set it back to True. Right now, as I hover around, I'm going to see those pop-ups, which in this case, I don't want, so I'm going to leave that as false. To learn more about your customization options for quick suggestions, you want to look in the VS Code documentation for IntelliSense. Uh, that's what they call this feature. In other contexts, you might hear it referred to as code hinting, uh, code auto-completion, code pop-ups. It just depends on the context in which you're working. So check out the docs for more information and to learn how you can customize this to fit uh, your specific requirements.